Okay, Scorpio and cross watchers and viewers, we're going to go into part two of what do your trusted ancestors want you to focus in on for January of 2021. Okay, so <clears throat> we ended with the Ten of Swords and saying like, you know, this, this frequency is done and over with. Okay, and we have a choice whether or not we want to carry that frequency. I get it sometimes that they're, you know, when you're, re you're trying to reprogram your mind, you're trying to reprogram your subconscious, okay? Yeah, of course, sometimes, you know, these people, these toxic people and the backstabbers and betrayers, you know, there could be something that could trigger you, okay? It's almost as if you basically, and I said this to one of my clients, you know, sometimes you, you know that old adage of, you know, somebody's renting space in your head, Okay, sometimes you have to talk to that person and say, I'm sorry, I do not give you permission to invade my space, to invade my frequency, my auric force field, nor to invade my, my mental space. Okay, some of you could be still consistently, you know, thinking about the past. I get it. Sometimes when the energy is fresh and something might have recently happened, yeah, it, it may take a little while. <clears throat> it may take a little while to get out of that momentum of rehashing how things happened, how they transpired. I guess the only remedy I could say to that is, you know, usually what I do is sometimes I'll say cancel, cancel, clear, delete. And just keep saying it until you feel that person's vibration or if you see you're seeing them in your mind's eye just keep saying cancel cancel clear delete cancel cancel clear delete cancel cancel clear delete because we have a breakthrough here that is trying to come forward in january of 2021 what is the message from the princess of cups like the knight of cups what is this token this love offer a proposal how is this going to come to scorpio please one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Could be coming in, <clears throat> could be coming in from a distance. Okay. Hang on a second. <clears throat> Excuse me. Could be coming in from a great distance. Somebody who could physically live at a distance from you. Could be. Somebody who could live near water or a lake or a stream an ocean could be or maybe this person is three miles away from you maybe in the same local vicinity maybe they're 30 minutes away from you with traffic somebody here is going to be sending out the ships sending out the emotional sos for this major cup of love message from the three of wands one two three Seven of Swords, but it's coming up in the reverse. I feel somebody here could be apologizing to you, Scorpio, also too, in the month of January for some sneaky behavior. What is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, temperance, baby. Temperance coming in, guardian angel activity. I said your trusted ancestors have got your back. They're trying to create the ebb and flow. And I also feel, too, if you're if your person, again, spiritual awakening. Something could have happened in your person's environment where maybe they're reevaluating what they did, what they said. They might be trying to seek forgiveness. Could be some of you guys are dealing straight up with the Sagittarius. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yeah, somebody wants to rush communication here. So I say somebody doesn't want to hold back, or the spirits on the other side, they're not holding back. They're you know, it's like they're pulling out all the stops, if that's the way I want to say it. Something here is not going to get in the way anymore. Message from the Princess of Swords. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's an apology for walking away. 
or they could be communicating if somebody's sending out the ships that you know you somebody here could get word that somebody is moving on from a partnership or somebody is moving on from a third party situation ace of cups is like keeping your eye on the prize here throughout the month of january message from the eight of cups one two three four five six seven eight i just feel compelled what is that yeah justice will be served you guys balance this is what we're trying to find see Balance is trying to come forward where the choppy waters have been for you over the last few months. And some of you carried that residual energy into 2021. It's not like you wanted to. It's just there are things that I feel that some of you Scorpios are definitely trying to work, work through. We always have something to work through. Will we always be in the free and the clear? Will we ever be in the free and the clear where we don't have to balance something? Probably not. But we just, that's the reason why we're the Transformers. That's the reason why we're true Scorpios. Message from Justice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. The Six of Pentacles equal give and take, equal reciprocity, not being one sided. So. Somebody wants to harmonize. Somebody is seeking balance. Some of you guys are dealing straight up with the Libra or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I've got all the signs. All the signs. Trusted ancestors, how do we get past? How do we get past in the month of January of 2021? How do we get past any residual energy of backstabbing and betrayal? How do we release and let go of these triggers that have probed us from time to time how do we get rid of that one two three four five six seven eight nine ten focus in on fate and destiny the wheel of fortune and don't you worry because these backstabbers and betrayers what goes around comes around karma some of you guys are dealing with a person that has a letter T, the letter A, the letter R, or the letter O within their name. You could also be dealing with a fixed sign, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, or another Scorpio. Message from the Wheel of Fortune. Fate and destiny is getting ready to turn, turn here, you guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Yeah. You guys are going to put your nose to the grindstone in the month of January. Okay. Focusing in <clears throat> only on your goals. Being driven. How are they going to do that? Yeah, wow. Bottom of the deck, the sun card. Love it. Message from the eight of pentacles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What is this? Yeah, and then you'll be able to take a rest. You'll be able to reward yourself maybe towards the end of this month or into Aquarius season because we have the sword. We have the sword activity going on here. Okay. High priestess energy coming in. Trust your intuition, you guys. Stop second guessing yourselves. Okay. So, get grounded. That's what we have to do. That's what we have to do. We have to ground our energy, focus in on one, one goal for this month, whatever it is, and just 10 times it, you know. Really put your energy into your manifestations. This is, again, we're in the new moon in the sign of Capricorn. First new moon of 2021. Okay, so be prepared. Because there's some major shift, a major change, a breakthrough for you guys in your work life and in your romantic life. Okay. So until next time, Scorpio, thank you so much. And if you'd like to book a reading and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com. A three-question recorded reading is $15. A six-question recorded reading is $30. If you are in the USA and would like to do your phone, um, if you'd like to do a reading over the phone, one-hour reading is $15. A two-hour reading is $30. Okay, and those prices will stay good until March 31st of 2020. 
I'm sorry, huh, 2020. See, I'm still thinking of 2020. March 31st of 2021, okay? And um, so anyway, but Scorpio, cross watchers, thank you so much and take care.